Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to have a look at an example of a second order non-homogeneous differential equation where your f of x function is a trigonometric function. So let's start. So this is the example we're looking at today. We have our dependent variable is y and your independent variable is x. You know you've got a second order differential equation because the highest derivative is a second order one. And your function, your left hand side of the equation is equal to a function 6 sine 2x which means that you're working with a non-homogeneous differential equation. So we know that our solution is going to be y equals your complementary function plus your particular integral. So if we find our complementary function, so for the complementary function, we know that if we use d operator notation, we can write the equation out like this. 3d minus 5 times that complementary function has to give you 0 because we assume the homogeneous form. So then our auxiliary equation is going to be 2d squared, 3d minus 5 equals to 0. And this one you can, you can solve using the quadratic formula, or if you want to, you can just prime factorize. So I'm going to prime factorize. I know my factors for 5 are just 5 and 1. Okay, and then I know in the middle I must get 3, so I think the 2 has to go there, d, d, and we need plus, so it has to be like that, which means d is minus 5 over 2, and d is going to be 1. Right? So we've got the roots here which are real and different. So that means that our complementary function has to have the form AE minus 5 over 2x, BE to the x. Okay, so we've got our complementary function. Now let's have a look at our particular integral. So 4ypi we know that you can write the equation like this pi and that has to be equal to 6 sine 2x right so we need to find a function for y pi so that if you find your first derivative and your second derivative and you substitute in your equation has to balance Right, so that must all equal to 6 sine 2x. So let's see, what should we choose for ypi? We need a trial function, right? So you know that when you substitute a value in your left-hand side, it has to simplify down to 6 sine 2x, which means at least one of your terms has to be sine 2x. So you don't know what the constant is, so you know one of the terms has to be sine 2x, right? You know you're going to need a derivative and you need your second derivative, right? And the thing about the trig functions for sine and cosine is that the derivatives flip between one another. So we know that the derivative of c sine 2x is going to be 2c cos 2x. Right, which means that on your left hand side you must also have terms for cosine 2x. Yeah, so this is going to be our first trial function. Let's see if it works. So the derivative of your second term is going to be minus 2d sine 2x. Please remember, don't get confused about when you're differentiating and when you're integrating. Okay, you must be clear about what you're doing when. Because I find students often confuse the two. So we've got 4c minus sine 2x minus 4d cos 2x. Right? And then we substitute into the differential equation here. Right? So when we substitute we should get 
let's see, it'll be 2 times minus 4c sine 2x minus 4d cos 2x, right, plus 3 times 2c cos 2x minus 2d sine 2x, right, and then it is Oops, mistake here. Yeah, that must be a minus, not a plus. And then it would be minus 5c sine 2x d cos 2x. Right? And that has to equal 6 sine 2x. Okay? And we just make sure that we substituted correctly. Yes, we've got plus 3. We've got all of our terms in the right places. Yeah? Okay. So, and then we have to simplify. Right? So, let's have a look. What do we get? So, we get uh, minus 8c sine 2x minus 8d cos 2x plus 6c cos 2x minus 6d sine 2x and you might as well just spread your equation out when you multiply right don't try and squeeze everything into one little corner because all it does is confuse you so use the space you can just get more paper minus 5c sine 2x minus 5d cos 2x and that has to equal 6 sine 2x okay so now remember again what you're trying to do you're trying to simplify your left hand side so that it equals your right hand side which means you need to look at all the like terms you need to add them together so it is equal to the same like term on your right hand side so that means like terms means you put all your sines together and all your cosines together with the same angle so if we have all our sines that is our sine cos cos that's the sine and that one is the sine right and that has to be equal to this one on the side okay so that means we need to have minus 8c sine 2x minus 6d sine 2x minus 5c sine 2x and that has to equal 6 sine 2x right so now the signs tell you that they like terms which means that the coefficient in front of it has to equal to 6 right so minus 8c minus 6d minus 5c must equal to 6 right so this is our first equation okay then let's see let's use this one but squiggly lines all your cosines are like terms right so this one here that one there and that one there if you add all those like terms together you have to get zero because you don't have any cosine term on your right hand side so that means that let's see what we've got minus 8d cos 2x plus 6c cos 2x minus 5d cos 2x has to equal to 0, right? Which means that the coefficients in front of the terms, the cosine terms, have to equal to 0. So minus 8d plus 6c minus 5d have to equal to 0. And that is our second equation, 
right? And you can solve those simultaneously, which I'm going to be really nasty and leave you to do. So once you simplify, you should get, and I'm going to look at my crib notes for this. C has to be equal to minus 78 over 205 and D minus 36 over 205. And that simplifies to, you can use a decimal, minus 0, 176. All right? So, our particular integral has to be 0, 0,38. And we just make sure which one is C and which one is D. So, C is with sine. So, sine 2x and D is with the cosine. Therefore, we remember that our final answer just take that out of the way, is going to be our complementary function plus the particular integral. And our complementary function was ae to the minus 5 over 2x, be to the x, and our particular integral is sine 2x, 0, 0,176, cause 2x and that is our general solution and you remember now it's your general solution because you don't know what the values of a and b are if you have initial conditions you can now substitute it into this general solution in order to find your particular solution i hope you understood that please if you have any comments leave them below for me or send me a note just to let me know how that was, and what you understood and what you didn't understand, and what you'd like to see more of. I'll see you next time. Bye.